What happened when I listened to the song is it seemed to end really quickly. I think it was it was done before three minutes. And the part is coming up right now that uh, that really bothered me. So here's what I thought was a great bridge to the song. So I listened to this. I'm acquainting myself with the with the tracks. And the uh, the vocals happen in this part, so it's like a bridge. There's the vocals. And I quite like this. Where's the rest? I, I was thinking, are the drums going to come back in? Is there some guitars coming in? That's the end of the session. That was the end of the song. And I thought it was a very non-climactic way to finish a song. I really expected it to really punch somewhere, and it never did. So what I did was I copied and pasted a part of the drums and added it onto the end of the song. Uh, and I've got it set up right here now so you can see what it looked like when I copied and pasted the uh, drums on the end. I kind of took a section and looped it. And then I did the same thing with the bass. So I added some more bass onto the end. So now th this is what happens when, uh, when I've added this extension on the end. And I'll give you a little sample. So now it keeps going, and then I have a, a blank canvas to build on. The band didn't give me anything, so I decided, well, I'll do some vocals, I'll put some strings on it, I'll cut and paste other elements from their session and create something really special. So one of the first things I did is I called my friend Morgan O'Shaughnessy, who's a string player, and I asked him to come down so we could make some string arrangements. All right, so the first thing I added were some girl vocals, and I sang them myself. I'm not the best vocalist, but I think it works. Here it comes. And then Morgan and I created string parts Now there's something really going on on the end of this song, and it really has a build. And when we did these string parts, it was just one string player, he's a viola player, and we worked on uh, layering parts, just one player, one part at a time. So we would take a uh, an idea for a theme and we would work on the viola parts for that and then layer a violin part on top of that and first and second violin we would put a cello part underneath the bottom of um, our slab of strings and double everything as we go so when it's all put together it sounds like a big string section it's very exciting the same with the the girl vocals that I added they were multiple layers on that and I had some help with uh, Helen Vaskovich. She helped me um, layer those vocals too. She sang in there too. At that point I was happy with the layout and the instrumentation. I wasn't missing anything in the arrangement of the song so I really started to dig into what the tracks needed and to lay it out into a sonic picture. <laughs> 